guys, good afternoon. I hope everyone is doing well today. Okay, so let's talk about RC. First of all, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina Campbell. I am um, the wife and mother of two beautiful children. Um, and I am um, a physician as well. I'm board certified in emergency medicine and I've been practicing medicine for about 20 years now. But my passion is wellness um, and prevention. So um, I like to teach anything I can to help um, you guys with that aspect of life. Um, if I could put myself out of a job, I, I would love that. That would be great. So, because um, that would mean all of you were so much healthier and that is my purpose. That is my purpose. So, um, a lot of this information is information I really wish I'd have had when I was younger. So I'm really hoping that, um, that this work that I'm doing, these videos that I'm putting out are really going to help other people get this message that I did not get as early as I would have liked to have had it. Um, so RC, RC stands for respiratory comfort. So this is a blend that is primarily going to be used in either a diffusion method or topically. It isn't one that's used orally. Um, it's um, quite, <laughs> come on up here. I feel like you should get up here in the camera, honey. Um, sorry, excuse me, my cat is just um, wanting some leaven. Um, so the, it has three different types of eucalyptus in it and that's what makes it so amazing for respiratory support. Um, it is, its primary job in life is to support the respiratory system. So this is what it was created for. Um, hence the name or the acronym, if you will. Um, so it has three types of eucalyptus. It has eucalyptus globulus, radiata, and citriodora. Um, it also has myrtle, pine, spruce, marjoram, lavender, cypress, and peppermint essential oils. So it's quite an amazing blend and it has a beautiful smell. If you guys haven't smelled this yet, it is, it is really lovely. I love the way it smells in the diffuser. Um, for me at home, I often will use this with my children for um, like a chest rub. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, my parents, my mother would use that, um, oh gosh, what was that stuff in that blue container? And it had such a big smell and I hated it. Oh, it's not going to come to me now. If you guys who were on with me remember what it was called, but it had this really strong menthol smell to it and I really hated it. Um, anyway, this would be the type of thing that you can use. It's a natural version of that and it's... Um, you can uh, mix it into some coconut oil. That's what I do with my kids when they're having respiratory issues they need support with. And it works beautifully. You can mix it. I also will mix it with thieves um, quite often. Vix, thank you, Christina. <laughs> or Christine, sorry. Yeah, Vix Vapor Rub, that was it. Oh, it was awful. And petroleum based and full of all kinds of toxic chemicals if you go and read the label. Oy. Anyway, so you can use this essential oil, which is all natural, 100% natural. Um, product with no chemical additives or anything like that. You could put that in with coconut oil or any other thick carrier oil and just put rub that on on your kid's chest. So it has nothing to do with animals, but I'm just throwing it out there. That's that's my primary way of using it at my house. I also love to diffuse it. I will sometimes diffuse it alone or I'll sometimes diffuse it mixed with thieves like half and half. Um, and, and it's lovely together. So um, with animals, this um, has a similar purpose, so again, supporting the, the respiratory system or healthy respiratory system. It is typically not used orally in any of the animals um, or with people for that matter. So with birds and exotics, the best way is with diluted, a diluted topical application um, or water diffusion. Um, you can also do an indirect diffusion method with like putting a little bit on a cotton ball into the cage or um, a little bit onto the perch where they perch. Um, it is not one that's added to the, that's been added to the feather spray recipe that we've talked about in the past, and it's also not um, one that you would put in soaking water or use orally, as we said. Okay, so cats with cats, you can add it to the raindrop. You can also do um, water diffusion method um, and um, diluted topical application, um, or or you can even use it in the lit aroma, which is um, I've not tried those. I have used the diffusion method and. Um, uh, not had any issues with my cat as far as that goes. Um, this is another one again that you would not use with cats as an oral supplement, um, but it would be okay if they got some via grooming. So for me, when I'm diffusing it in my bedroom and she's sleeping with me, um, 
she will get some, of course, that will diffuse into the air, but will also land on her and she will get a little bit orally that way and she'll get a little topically that way. And that's okay. Again, she's never had any issues. I've never seen any issues. And typically when I'm diffusing it, I'm using about eight drops in my dew drop diffuser. That's the one actually I have the rose, the home rose in my bedroom or in the kids room. Um, I guess they both have a rose diffuser now too. Um, in the kitchen, I have a dew drop. So um, in any of those, I'm using about eight drops and I've not had any issues. Um, with my animals. So with dogs that are larger, again, you can add it to their raindrop um, treatment. You can also add it to either an air or water diffusion method. So this can be used in a little bit higher concentration. As I've said before, the air diffusion method is a little higher concentration. It can cover a larger room or like a barn stall, that kind of thing. Um, when you're talking about larger animals. Um, and it can be added to the animal sense ointment for a chest rub. So that would be a really great way to do a chest rub for animals is to use that animal sense ointment. In fact, I wonder if that would be good with kids too when I'm out of coconut oil. Hmm, maybe I'll try that next time. Um, I do love the animal sense ointment. I use it for myself all the time um, and I love it with the animals too. So it's a great investment if you guys are on essential rewards or you're interested in getting something like that. That ointment is amazing. So again, you wouldn't use it orally in the larger animals. So. Um, Anyway, so that is RC. That's kind of the, a quick summary on how to use RC and what it's what it's used for. It's kind of a quick one. Um, and um, so I hope that's helpful for you guys. And I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Mm -hmm.